Welcome to my gluten-free plate. Today I'm going to show you how to make these hot cross buns. They're obviously gluten-free, um, yeast-free, which is really good, so there's no waiting time. And they are made using a supermarket um, gluten-free flour. For these hot cross buns, I use the Coles brand self-raising flour. You could use the all grand white wings, or whatever you have on hand. To the flour mix, you will add sugar, your spices, and your dried fruit. Give everything a quick mix, but if you're using raisins only, just uh, make sure that you get in there with your fingers and separate those and coat them well with the flour. Go ahead and add your creamy mix to the dry ingredients and stir that through really well. Mix it roughly for about three minutes until your dough starts to come together. It looks really bouncy and comes away from the bowl. You'll need about a quarter cup reserved flour for dusting and for kneading. The kneading process here is a very gentle kind of motion, so you're only using the tips of your fingertips. The tips of your fingertips. But anyway, if it gets a bit sticky because you haven't floured enough, do use a scraper. But if you do flour well at the beginning of the process, you shouldn't need to, and it should be quite dry enough. Like I said, it's a very gentle um, process here. You're not dealing with a regular flour so and it's a very moist kind of dough you just want to fold in this extra flour that you've popped on there i just like to add that when you're measuring out your flour at the beginning of the process um, pour it in loosely into your cup don't pack it in that should weigh roughly between 190 to 200 grams of flour so after about two minutes of kneading with the flour or as long as it takes to kind of incorporate enough flour where your ball is starting to really come together and look nice and smooth you'll want to lubricate your hands and the surface that you're working on and knead just that little bit more so the kneading is not a very vigorous process at all it's just a literally a folding and quarter turn this method of kneading will help you achieve the really nice smooth surface of the hot cross bun just remember to keep dipping your hands into the oil. You need to keep this surface rather slippery and slimy. Um, make a log. And this was about 18 centimetres. So I then divided it, I think, by three centimetre increments to get six uh, little pieces there. So remembering to keep our hands lubricated, well lubricated, we're going to start forming little balls. If you're picking that up the way that it's sitting, you shouldn't really have to kind of do any kneading or folding over. You can go ahead and sort of smooth down the surface as well. All right, right now I'm being Mr. Maker because I don't have the right size tin. So I just fashioned a little bit of a foil log so that the buns actually rise up instead of spread out. These hot cross buns take about 15 to 20 minutes at the most to make. It probably takes about 20 minutes for me because I'm no good with the piping bag, as you'll see later on down the track. Now, for the paste, I've used about two tablespoons of flour, about 38 grams, and 50 ml of water, and two teaspoons of oil. The addition of the oil, and just use a vegetable oil for this, is what's going to stop your crosses from being hard and crunchy. And that's just the perfect consistency just there. To avoid cracks like mine, um, make sure you use even pressure so that the paste comes out in such a way that it will be even and fairly thick. Now, mine did not come out as thick as I would have liked purely because I hadn't cut a big enough hole. Now, I take these out at the 25 minute mark because what I want to do is ensure that they get really good um, browning. So I'll put them back in for another 10 minutes, free form, until they look like this. And for the glaze, I basically used a tablespoon of icing sugar that I sifted and um, about a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half of water. And there you have it. Easy hot cross buns. I hope you liked the video and see you for my next one. Bye for now.